what is up guys mr engineer and i'm here today and today i'm going to review well not really review but show you my pc it's a matx pc and it is an i5 4000 something k which um i don't know if it's a k but it's got a inbuilt gpu and you can see right here i've got a silverstone farrah r1 um, pc case and right now, you can see that these fans are actually controllable with a remote. It's because the original fans were absolute garbage. The rainbow ones, they weren't even rainbow. They were just green, um, green, orange, and another color, yellow, something like that. So I decided to tinker around with them until I realized that I placed the big Molex or Rolex connector backward. So whatever that connector is, I connected it backwards accidentally, and all these fans burnt. This back fan, not this particular one here, but I tried to change the color because I was flicking around with it. It turned out to be the advertising color as purple, blue, and pink but it decided not to work and you can see this is real silverstone here if i turn the fan lights off you may see better and it doesn't look that good with the fan lights off and what i realized was pretty funny and sometimes i realized this is pretty funny that and a bit weird that you can actually change the speed of the fans and until they actually stop spinning so usually when I work on these fans they kind of get annoying when they spin and that's something with those silverstone ones I couldn't actually fix but I'm just talking about fans and these are cool moon RGB fans about six of them you can see there's two at the top here they look a lot better in person there's not a huge burst of light in the middle and I can turn the light down you can see they look a bit better and if I put it on RGB and my god I talk about fans way too much I just really like these fans and you can see that I can actually take this front panel off and they look slightly better I guess and this is just mesh so not really any different with that and this is what one of the fans look like with the character you can see it's a really nice fan it doesn't have any plastic base so this is my computer it's got a model of gigabyte and this chip here chipset warms up so you can see it's a really bad PC setup because I'm going to build a new one soon and that's because it's got 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM so 8 each and this is the new one I got because this is a pre-built computer until I change case from this ugly thing into the Silverstone case so it's got DDR3 RAM which I'm not that happy about because it's not that fast it's only 1600 megahertz um, at the moment, the hard drive is not in the computer, but it's got a 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive. And I have a GPU, but my brother is using it at the moment. So, you can see that it's not the best computer. It's pretty fast for running small games, like, say, uh, small games. It's got an Intel CPU fan. And it's got a Intel i5 4th gen. I may have told you at the start of the video. It's got about a lot of starters. And this dual USB 3.0 converter. So you got U3, U3 and U2. And a headphone jack. You can see this HDD light isn't on right now. Because there's no hard drive. Because when I upgrade my motherboard, my power supply and everything else like gpu ram i'm getting the corsair vengeance one then i'll get a m.2 
PCIe something SSD that usually sits right here, which my brother has built a new computer, so I am inspired to build one as well. It's got this energizer battery, which I have no idea what it does. And, uh, sorry about the lighting, I forgot to put it back up. So, the Intel fan, I got it. It had no, um, like, of that thermal paste on it. And I think I may have blown it up playing some games. So we had to install new thermal paste. And these connector things, you just spin them. When you spin them here, stupid fans, you pull them out, and then when you pull them out, stupid fan, you pull it out like that, and then you do it for all of them, and you can take the fan off. So, this is a, and um, excuse the fan, it does that when it starts up. This is a Gigabyte GAB85M dash d3h it's not the best motherboard in the world but it kind of does the job i don't know what type of generation intels it takes and it's got two gpu holders it doesn't have any wi-fi it's just got these old school video card things and some other things this is a mustard connector so um this fan or well, this case stupid fan you can see it doesn't have that control panel here to change USB lighting and stuff that's why I got new fans because they looked ugly and you can see if you want to see the fans better I can actually turn the brightness down and you'll be able to see them just a little bit so they look better if I change the speed of it to zero I don't know, I can even pause the mode. And yeah, I'll actually probably put a link to these fans. I got them on eBay, and because they looked like this earlier, we'd know of that black sticker. So I decided to put those Silverstone stickers on here to make it look a little bit better. I know this is a bit of a poor type of gaming setup, but. I just uh, like the black circle in the middle. Pretty neat fan. Um, it's got 100% terrible airflow, but it looks really good. And I'm going to get two at the bottom to make it look better. So the most crazy way to pimp your PC by putting new fans in it that don't do anything but just look cool. So that's basically it. Um, it's got Windows 10 installed on it, and it's uh, just—it's not a good PC. And here's the controller for the fans. There's apparently six fans plugged in right now. So the, this is my PC setup. Just to give a little advice: do not get the Silverstone Farrah R1 Rainbow because it comes with terrible fans that don't look good. And they come with those Molex connector things that burn really easily if you just connect them backwards. The fans that I burnt, they they still work, but the lights didn't work and that annoyed me. So this is uh, my PC setup. It's got a tempered glass panel on the side. Not right now, but if you can see, I grab it here. This is tempered glass. I know this is not the best way to hold it, but this is tempered glass. And it's just, it's not a bad case if you got better fans and maybe better parts. So I'm getting an AIO, putting these fans on it. So this is basically it. New power supply, more RAM to run better games, a GPU, maybe a 1660 Super or something and a new motherboard and a i3 10,000 something K and definitely a K1 because I need to overclock it to a little bit more because it's not that good so that's basically it